What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another haircut tutorial. <laughs> got a little extra with that one. Um, so yeah, so today uh, we got my homie that drove down from LA to get this cut. Um, he never combs out his hair, so he, uh, th this is just a forewarning to everybody, like all the clients out there: comb your hair every day. It keeps your scalp healthy, keeps your hair healthy. And also makes it easier for us barbers to uh, cut through the hair, to uh, start the haircut, um, and not take about a good, you know, extra 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, I, I hyped it. Maybe like an extra like five minutes, five to ten, depending uh, to just like detangle your hair and all that. So, anyways, with that being said, let's get into this haircut. We did a uh, Mitzkin fade, and you can see I am creating my first guideline. First, I picked out everything. Now we're creating our first guideline. Uh, and he hasn't had a haircut for months, as you can tell. Um, so what I did just to make the line a lot easier to fade and not have to do any extra steps was um, you can see that sometimes I press down with my edger to start the bald line. Today, I am just going straight into just scooping. So when you scoop, um, when you go, when you put the trimmer against the against the scalp like how I'm doing but then you scoop out towards where you're gonna stop the line at it makes it a lot easier to blend and less work on your on uh, on your part so make sure to do that that'll definitely save you some time make it a lot easier for you but basically um, the fade is pretty simple he's doing a mid fade on the sides taking it down to a number one with the grain on top because his hair is so grown out uh, after balding out the bottom and then using an electric shaver, um, it only takes three steps to do this fade. So, uh, but I will say for the top, because his hair is so grown out than usual, um, I took it down with one and a half first and then, and then put my number one guard and, uh, took it all the way down to the desired length just to like make sure I can see the scalp and everything. When you're going with the grain, you wanna make sure you're going with the grain of the hair. So um, you just wanna make sure to take down a lot of the bulk first and then go ahead and go down with the number guard that you were planning on using. Okay, so now with the bottom being done, we took it down to skin with the electric shaver. Now, like I said, we got the one and a half guard on lever closed and we're just gonna take out a lot of that bulk so we can see the scalp because a lot of people have like calyx and stuff like that. Um, now I know his hair very well because I've cut him before, uh, but you just wanna be careful, especially around that calyx area that I'm working on right now um, to make sure that you're not going in the opposite direction. So to be on the safe side, it would be best to take it, everything down with a longer guard, then put your number one guard on and then take everything down to the length that you are going for, which is now, this is the number one guard, lever closed, and we are gonna lay everything down nice and smooth. It's gonna be uh, still dark to see a little bit of waves in there but low enough to where the haircut should last in a little while. Okay, so just quick run through of what this haircut is going to be like um, in three steps. So it's basically a half with no guard first, then a half guard second, and a number one guard third. Everything in between is just going to be you playing with the lever. That's it. Okay, so right now we got our half, no guard. Okay, a half is a lever like open or halfway open going up um, about fingers width. And then you're gonna close it, playing with the lever like I said, down to a zero, blending that into the skin. 
using maybe a little corner of the trimmer just to make sure everything is nice and smooth. And then our next step, we are going to throw our half guard on. The half guard is going to be lever closed. We're going to go up about a finger's width. Here is our half guard lever closed, going up about a finger's width, and then we are going to just blend everything in between using the lever. Playing around with that lever is how you get a nice consistent blend. You won't know what to do in between, you won't know how, how, to get, how to achieve a perfect fade until you take the risk and mess around with that lever to see uh, what it takes and what areas to hit and what angles to go through to get that nice smooth blend. Next is our number one guard lever open. Then we're gonna close it, gonna smooth everything out and we're gonna come back with our half guard using that lever to play around with. Anything extra other than the steps that I told you is just basically detail work. Going down with the grain one more time, hitting different angles, trying the corner, using different guards or messing around with the lever. That's all detail work. That's me looking in the mirror, seeing that, okay, there's a little, I gotta give a little bit more attention to this part of the fade, or maybe I should try to hit this a little bit more. So that's all based on you looking in the mirror and seeing um, what you believe needs a little bit more love. We are going to repeat all the same steps on the opposite side of course and of course on the back. Um, also we did do enhancements on this haircut so at the end uh, before I finish everything up you'll see me um, add a little bit of color around the lineup just to make that stand out just a little bit more.
you guys just need to uh, trust your gut when you're cutting hair and um, practice does make perfect like it's always good to learn it's always good to watch watch your favorite barbers work around people that are better than you ask questions um, even till this day like myself I been doing this for 11 years and I still constantly ask questions I go to hair shows I watch YouTube videos I always want to learn more and I always want to get better I appreciate all the comments that you guys leave in me and I'm gonna always try to do my best Always remember that when you're doing a front lineup and you want it to be as straight as possible to start from the middle and work your way out. It doesn't matter if they have a receding hairline, if the hairline's crooked, like just naturally, um, if they're missing hair, like whatever it is. If they want a front lineup, start from the middle and work your way out.
and by request only you can see I'm adding just a little bit of enhancement to make that lineup stand out just a little bit more his lineup is nice and shaped and cut it looks good but this definitely makes it stand out a little bit more so if he has things to do has pictures has you know any event or anything this will uh, just make his lineup look a lot better and cleaner on camera This is the before and this is the after. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate your support. Please share this video with anybody who may need it. Leave your comments below and I will catch you guys in the next video.